Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be taking this photograph right here and turning it into this over here using a traditional six-sided kaleidoscope technique. Okay, now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and if you really want to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. It really is the best thing to do. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll give this one a shot. I'm just going to delete that. There we go. And we'll start off with this picture right here. Now, the first thing we need to do is just to make a duplicate or a copy of your background layer. So over here, right click and duplicate layer, choose OK, and then hide the original. That's just a safety, just in case we mess things up, we can always go back to that. Now, so this works out properly, come down to the background layer and make a new layer right here, new layer. This is just going to help us resize this image properly. Okay, back up to our background copy and then go over here to image, come down to resize and canvas size. And then in here, you want these to be the same. We want this to be a square image. So just copy your larger number, right click copy and paste it over the smaller number, paste. So now the same size, choose okay. And then if I zoom back out a little bit here, fit screen, we now have this extra space top and bottom. Okay, we're now going to stretch this image and for that, use a control T keyboard shortcut if you're not seeing your control handles. And then grab your top handle, pull this up to the top. Grab your bottom handle, pull it down to the bottom like that. And hit the green check mark for OK. OK, this is our basic image we'll be working with. Let's now make a duplicate of this layer. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. And we're going to be flipping this one around. So go up here to image, come down to rotate. And we want to just rotate this 180. Notice this rotate layer 180, not up here. Come down to this one down here. That just rotates it around. We now need to blend this layer into the layer underneath of it. And here's where you need to make a decision. I want to have mostly the light colors showing. I want to be working with our light colors. And you want to do the dark colors. I'm going to show you that. So for the light colors, I'm going to go up here and change the blend mode to lighten. And we now see the light colors. I'm going to just undo that if I if I want to see the dark colors, I'll use the blend mode and darken, and I see the dark colors. So make the decision which part of your image you want to work with, your light colors or your dark colors, and then use that. I'm going for the light, so we're going to be doing this as lighten right there. Okay, now we're going to take these two layers and then blend them together into one layer. So for that, hold the control key down, click on both layers, right click on the name, and come down to where it says merge layers, choose that, and there we go, it's now one merge layer. Okay, now we can begin making our rotations on this for our kaleidoscope effect. Right click on this layer, duplicate layer, choose OK. And to get that six sided effect, that standard six separation effect, we need to go up and rotate this by 60 degrees. And let's click on the Control T keyboard shortcut. It brings up your options right down below here. And then change the degrees to 60 and choose OK and that rotates it around. Now again, you have another option right here. If you want to have this larger than this, you can use Content Aware Fill to fill in these corners in here, or you can crop in. We'll be doing a crop in on this project. We now need to blend this in to the layer underneath. Now, because we lightened last time, we're going to be doing the opposite this time. So do a blend mode and darken. If you did darken first, you'd want to do lighten on the second one. Okay, let's now take this layer, right click on this and duplicate this layer choose OK. And I'm going to rotate this the other way. We need to remove that first 60 and add another 60. So it's 120 degrees the other direction. So Control T again to bring back up our options down here, our transform options. Other direction is negative this time and it's 120, 60 plus 60. And there we go. There is that basic kaleidoscope effect in there. But we're not done yet. I want this a lot brighter, a lot more interesting. We now want to change our blend mode on this layer. And I want this to be a lot more vibrant. So a good way to do that is to change the blend mode here to a color burn right there. And we get a much more vibrant color. If you want to adjust further than this, you know, beyond this one, you can do that with an adjustment layer. Now I want to bring my lightness back a little bit on this. We want to adjust our values a bit. So let's go up here to layer and come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Now don't check this checkbox. I want this to be applied to everything in here. So don't check that. Choose OK. And here's our levels control. And to make your darks darker, you pull the left side in. To make your whites brighter, you pull the right side in. 
to lighten it up, take the middle control here and move it to the left, and that lightens everything up. So something kind of like that in here looks pretty good, maybe a bit more on the light side. And that's looking really nice, bright effect. And you can see in the middle here, right there, here's our nice six-sided kaleidoscope effect showing up in that middle. Now, that part will look different depending upon what picture you use. It's going to be a different effect each time, which is the fun part about this. And if you want to adjust your saturation, your color values in here at all, just go up here to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and this time choose Hue Saturation. Again, don't check that. You can then either make your saturation less or more right in here. I'm going to leave mine as is. I think we're pretty good without making that adjustment. I'll put that back to zero. But you can easily adjust it right here. You can also kind of adjust your coloration if you want to. Just move your color slider around. So it gets just interesting variations when you do this. And you can find just the right effect. Again, I'm going to leave mine alone and we'll just remove that one adjustment layer. Now, last thing we need to do is to come in and crop this into a square shape. I don't want to have this outside stuff showing. So for that, grab the crop tool. And that's right over here. It's going to give you crop suggestions. One of those is right down here. The first one, this is a square crop. And where it says no restriction, make sure that that's set as is. And then grab the upper left-hand corner up here. Hold the shift key down and pull that in. There we go. Let go of the shift key. Come down to the bottom right-hand corner. Grab that. And again, hold the shift key down and move that one in. And there we go. We're now cropped in with a nice square just like that. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button. Click on subscribe. And definitely take a look at my computer training course for Photoshop Elements, where I'll show you how to use the whole program. And a link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.